Hello guys! In this video I show you a racing from the point of view of my opponent. I'm going to show you how I defend uh, my position and I hope uh, you take note uh, for your next races. Uh, in this race uh, we are just 5 drivers. 4 Alpines and uh, 1 Alfa Romeo. The Alfa Romeo is me. All the 5 cars are tuned to 300 bhp and uh, 950 kg with traction control off, stability control off, just the ABS on uh, sport hard tires so it will be, it will be quite slippery <laughs> this is the point of view of my main uh, opponent of the race an NX GTI 35 uh, I think uh, you saw him uh, already in my previous battles on GT Sport. It's uh, a pretty fast driver and often he manages to go faster than me on some uh, car classes. In fact, uh, as you can see, he's already overtaking uh, all the other drivers to, to reach me. My problem with Spa is I'm slow on the radio corner uh, with the Alfa Romeo because uh, it spins a lot. In fact, my opponent is reaching me, but uh, I'm going to cover immediately the, the, the inside. Why the inside? Because uh, when you have the inside, you have the 80% of chances uh, to win the battle. Thanks uh, to my delayed braking, I managed to keep uh, my position. My opponent is thinking uh, he still has four laps in front of us, so he prefers to abort the attack and uh, wait another occasion, considering uh, uh, he can clearly see he's faster than me right now. In this uh, second attempt, uh, he delays the braking more than me, but I still have the inside. He tries to switch position, but I still have the inside. He's thinking, uh, well, if I can't overtake a Viper Concept uh, before the corner and the braking, let's try overtaking him after the corner in acceleration. But uh, it's no use, I still protect my position even on the corner exit. Again, I protect the inside, but this time I don't manage to keep uh, my racing line because of the understeer, so there is a light contact be between us. Uh, luckily, nothing too serious, but uh, it looks uh, a dirty move, but uh, trust me, it isn't. <laughs> Try watching some real races of the past on uh, BTCC or DTM. <laughs> it's the aggressiveness is way, way harder than mine. Uh, but yes, I must admit I'm very, very aggressive on defending my position. But uh, this is this uh, my aggressiveness as a specific purpose. Mm, as most of you already know, uh, battles are very psychological, are very mental. Uh, you have to show your aggressiveness, respecting uh, the racing rule of course, uh, to scare and putting pressure on your opponent. Uh, see, now my opponent is about uh, two seconds per lap uh, faster than me, so probably you should think uh, I'm the one who was in trouble. Nope! I want to frustrate him uh, uh, with uh, his failed attempts in that way I want to show to show him uh, he is uh, the one who is in trouble despite the fact that he's faster than me. Again, this corner is the part uh, of the track where he suffered the most, uh, obviously he'll be faster than me. But uh, despite my weakness uh, I don't give up. Moreover, there is a long straight after which uh, is perfect uh, uh, for my opponent to complete the overtake before the next corner. So, uh, my goal is to stay side by side on the inside to defend my position from his attack, even if he manages to put his car nose on the front. Luckily for me, uh, he doesn't insist uh, and uh, I delay the braking to rip us on the front. Again, 
He retries uh, uh, from the outside before the corner to see if he can overtake me after the corner. But this time he hesitates and he breaks too much, allowing me to escape and take a break. The goal is avoiding defending uh, if not necessary, because defense uh, is a loss of time. That's because uh, you move uh, from the idle racing line, so you take the corner slower. As you can see, my car spins way more than the Alpine because uh, the, of the shorter wheelbase which increases the oversteer. I'm trying to stay calm, but still, uh, I'm human. I suffer the pressure as well. In fact, I'm <laughs> sweating a lot. And uh, rightly, my opponent uh, doesn't give up uh, because uh, he's just waiting for me from uh, crackling up. Uh, at this point, he's waiting for a mistake, from my mistake. A miss at breaking, uh, an open door on the inside, a spin, a very slow corner exit. As I told you in battles, the one who attacks uh, must be opportunist. I'm trying to stay calm, but trust me, <laughs> even for veteran drivers and sim racers, uh, it's very, very hard. <laughs> A mistake while defending is constantly uh, watching uh, at the mirrors. I must admit, I do that. <laughs> But uh, by doing that, uh, there are more, ch more chances um, to make a mistake because you don't watch at the road in front of you. Uh, however, uh, in some cases, pressure somehow helps you because it pushes you uh, to go faster and drive your car to the real limits. Even if uh, uh, the mistake ratio your lap increases as well. Even uh, in this lap, uh, that's the critical part for me. Uh, I managed to exit faster compared to my previous lap, but uh, every time I open it, uh, it's faster than me. But again, uh, being on the inside, it's the right choice for me, and I managed to recover my the position. I can't manage to escape, uh, because it's too close. Uh, I have to protect the inside every time. This prevents me from escaping. Luckily, the, the slipstream isn't powerful uh, in this race. By the way, uh, I'm managing to increase the race pace, because I'm getting uh, a bit uh, used to my car reaction. I can't escape, but uh, he doesn't manage to overtake me despite being uh, faster than me. That demonstrates that uh, even uh, if uh, you're slowed by someone, you can still resist. Because in online racing, no matter uh, if you're a beginner or a pro, sooner or later you always find someone who will be faster than you. Always. Right now, as you can see, I'm pushing uh, to my limits, but uh, despite that, it's faster. I, I can't do anything about that. I can just uh, trust my defense skills. Uh, knowing the fact soon it'd be the final lap, uh, that uh, gives, gives me uh, hopes to defend my position until the end. But considering this track is quite long, uh, that's uh, also discourages me. But uh, by experience, I know drivers who attack uh, tend to risk more uh, on the final lap because they know they have very few occasions to overtake, so usually they increase more their aggressiveness. So, oh, here we are, the final lap. If I manage to resist after the straight uh, of the Radillon corner, I should have some chances to keep my lead. Oh, 
Okay, it's faster than me in the final lap. I'm moving on the inside, that's good for me. Okay, I risked more on the braking, but he saw the overtake was impossible. Whoa, I went so slow after this corner. Luckily, be on the inside, saved me again. The stress set is making some mistake as well. Now I'm a bit far away, but I know it's useless to <laughs> catch me up in few corners. Okay, my mistake, I have to put it inside now. Protect my lead even after the chicane. Yeah, the lead is safe. Well, I hope this video has been useful for and entertaining for the, at the same time. See you on the track!